What's up everybody, Juan Diabloco here. This is the new video. In today's video, we're gonna have high bar squats, close grip bench press, and some sumo deadlifts. I'm combining two training days into one. These are my lighter training days. I don't really go too heavy, uh, just to get some work in while I'm resting and to train a couple of different variations of my main movements. So stay tuned and let me know how you like the video. All right, here we go. We have high bar squats with 76.5 kilograms or roughly 168.7 pounds. Still using the kilo plates, even though I'm doing high bar squat here. I like to do the high bar squat as a variation to my low bar squat. Three sets of 12 here. So first set, really concentrating on my bracing, my breathing. It's kind of a lighter weight. It takes me a little bit more, I think, to get in the groove because I don't do as much warming up, building up to a higher weight as I do for higher intensity. Even if I'm using lower reps, I warm up a little more for those, I guess. Not to say that I neglect my warm up, I still I warm up the same, but I don't take as many reps to warm up to my working weight with these lighter weights. Here we go, second set. Still concentrating on my bracing, my breathing. Not really rushing it. My last video I mentioned how I use my lighter squat day to kind of sometimes work on speed. So I'm not going very fast here, I'm still kind of attempting to push it a little faster than my last squat session. The other thing is that I'm, I'm also being cognizant of my breathing and the heat, my timing. A little hotter weather kind of zaps it out of me a little quicker, so based on my last training session, I decided to play a little more conservative with my speed for my first two sets and really concentrate on the fundamentals of my breathing and bracing and just feeling the movement out each rep. Okay, now here we're on our third set. And I went ahead and decided I was feeling good. I was gonna go for a little bit more speed out the gate and just kinda rep out these reps. I'm gonna do my best to push the pace for this last set. A little bit of form breakdown here, fatigue and speed, both playing a factor. So I just pause for a minute improve my form. All right, now we are going for close grip bench press, 56.5 kilograms or roughly 124.6 pounds. Again, sets of 12. Kilo plates here on the competition bench. Although it's a closer grip, still just wanna keep all benching on the competition bench or on a flat bench and not so much the bench with the fat pad. All right, second set. In order to keep these lighter weights a little more interesting, sometimes I'll vary it one, rep, uh, one set a little faster, one set a little slower, slight pauses, just to keep it interesting. This isn't really even a warm up weight, so Sometimes I have to do other things to keep the training interesting and still fun. And we're on our final set. In this set, we're going a little bit faster. And we're touch and go, wrapping it out. Again, just a little slight variation between sets just to keep it interesting for me. 
until we get back up to heavier weights. This is just the last set. I did 3 by 12 incline dumbbell press. I'm just doing 60 pounds. Again, 3 sets of 12. Some accessory work. Not going super heavy. Thought I'd show some accessories in this video. Here we go, sumo deadlifts, 205 pounds. Once again, it's a deadlift, but it's a variation. I kind of like the way the sumo hits the quads. It's really worked my hips. So I feel like after I started training sumos, my conventional felt a lot cleaner. So that's a, a positive there. These sets, since I don't pull sumo, I didn't really worry about using the kilo plates. I'll stick to the kilo plates on my conventional deadlift. And probably just use the steel plates for the sumos. All right, second set. So with the first set, I took a little bit longer pause in between reps. Here, I was really concentrating on filling my quads. With that being said, I kind of got into more of a touch and go style deadlift, which you won't really see from me very often. I am really like to come to a full stop. So you'll see I thought about that towards the end and try to slow down. But I have the same problem here. I mean, I'm working with pretty light weights here, 205. So it's not something that is super hard for me at this rep range even. So I have to concentrate harder on making sure I come to a complete stop at the end. Take a slight pause as I come to the bottom and then finish it up there. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. If you like that video, don't forget to hit the like button, click subscribe, leave a comment in the comments section, follow me on Instagram at DiabloCo Lift Hunt Shoot. I'll see you in the next video. Money, money, money.